What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Steph G, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some business essential things that you're going to want to have when you're first starting out your company, your business, all that good stuff. Now, a lot of these things I purchased when I first started my company and some things I bought, you know, after some time, after I got some funding. Now, everything is not an essential, but I wanted to share with you guys everything that I have, what I started with, where I got it from. As you guys know, I will link everything down below in the description box for you to go ahead straight to it, find it purchase it so you can have it for your business. So if this is something that you're interested in, then you definitely want to go ahead, keep on watching. All right, so if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm your girl, Steph G, and I'm all about sharing business tips, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on a video. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into this video because I got tons of stuff to show you, and I do not want to make this video long. So yeah, all right, so I did write some things so I don't forget. I feel like this light is really bright. Let me, you guys can see better maybe? Okay, if not, we'll adjust it as we go. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and talk about these things that you're going to need when you're first starting out, some business essentials. Like I said, I do have a lot more other things that I implemented into this whole video just because I feel like you still need it. You may not have to get it as soon as you start your company. Um, some of these things you can kind of wait for after you get some funding, after you get some sales, or after you just get some kind of business credit. Now, if you guys want to see a video on getting business credit, I can definitely show you guys how I leveled up and got business credit, how I set that whole up. I mean, matter of fact, I am going to do videos on that. Business, you know, I already showed you guys how to get a business account or where to get a business account, business checking account. And then we're going to show you later on, I'll show you how to like get some business credit and things like that. But yeah, so once you start getting some funding and you're able to get some of these supplies, um, you're definitely going to want to get some of these things because they do come in handy. So let's go ahead and talk about, I kind of put them in categories, stationary. Okay. And that's pretty much like your notebooks. You're definitely going to want to have notebooks. I have tons of notebooks, tons of planners. So pretty much notebooks like these or bigger notebooks to kind of keep track of things. Planners. I have a planner that I use on a daily day on a day to day basis and it is the top three priorities planner. This planner is super dope. I got this from Erin on demand. If you guys are familiar with her here on YouTube, here she goes right here. Yeah, this line is too bright. Okay, maybe that's better. Yeah, so this is Erin on Demand. She has a YouTube channel. She also created this planner, which makes it easy for us entrepreneurs, business owners, and things like that to pretty much kind of like keep up with what you need to do for the day because sometimes you get overwhelmed. You do too much and you, well, you put too much on your plate throughout the day and it just gets overwhelming and sometimes you don't end up for me anyways I don't end up accomplishing it so I get really irritated so I need to focus on priority things so that's why she created this top three notebook which helps you just prioritize the things that you need to get done um why do I feel like it's not good lighting here guys so you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see this notebook or not you guys see it but yeah it helps you prioritize what you need to do for the day um put out your tasks your notes and things like this this is what i do for the for things that i need to do for anything whether it's youtube my business and i think this is super essential to have it doesn't have to be necessarily this planner but it could be any type of planner that keeps you on track throughout the day so that you can get your things done so i think this is a business essential um so that you accomplish the things that you need to accomplish all right so moving on after that you want to get yourself a folder Something like this. I have this one. And I got this from Staples. But you can get this anywhere. Target. No, actually, I got this from Target. Um, you can get this at Staples, Office Max. Any stationery store has this. Um, even Dollar Tree has one. So you can get one from Dollar Tree, as you guys know. It's like that accordion type of folder. So that way you can keep your business things. You definitely want to make sure that you're keeping track and you're keeping all your receipts, your, your legal documentation, like your LLC, your EIN, all those documents in a secure place so you know where you're at. This I love about it is because it helps you stay organized. You can, of course, put tabs on each of these things so that you can kind of um, tell, you know, which slot is what. So I pretty much keep all my receipts, all my uh, checkbooks from my bank accounts, a documentation that I get for my business and things like that in here. So I definitely think this is essential to have. All right. Next thing is business cards and thank you cards and some other things that you, it doesn't have to relate to your business. But if you have a hair company, then you might want to get some of these. So 
business cards, super cool. Let me turn this light down because I think it's the window. All right, I'm back. So business cards, like I was mentioning before, you want to get you some. I got these from Vistaprint, Vistaprint, or even Avery um, has great business cards, but I feel like Vistaprint is a better option when you're thinking about getting um, business cards, thank you cards. Well, these are thank you cards. Business cards as well. I'll show you guys in a minute. Now, these are in a postcard size. I wanted to get these in a postcard size because it's a lot cheaper on Vistaprint to get them in a postcard way instead of the actual thank you card. You get a lot more and it's less for you to get these instead of getting the thank you cards. And then I'll show you guys business cards. Now, these are old business cards. I haven't created any new ones. These are the business cards that I first started with crazy part about this is that you want to make sure that when you're creating your business cards it is what you are going to want or maybe just order less of the amount that's something that I started to do now is to order less maybe just 25 business cards to see how I like them to get rid of them the first time that I ordered these I ended up getting like a hundred which as you guys see it's still full I did do I still do use these because we're not wasting any money over here, okay? So I kind of just pass them out when I go to like Target, any type of stores, I'll leave them around and maybe pass them out when I'm out if people ask me and things like that. Um, but Vistaprint is a great place to make business cards for the low, okay? I think these business cards might have cost me $20 or something around there. And I got about 100 of them, as you guys can see. I finished one box. I still have this box left. But once I'm done with these, I'm going to... Um, create some new ones just to, like my thank you cards just some kind of plain logo I like things to be real simple and plain that's just the type of girl I am I don't know what it's just you know when you're first starting out you're just experimenting so I'm not too hard on myself like I was before before I was super hard on myself I'm like why did I do this why did I do what was I thinking now it's just like you know what stuff it's a trial and error you're experimenting you're trying new things if it don't work out I mean it's an investment you're gonna lose some money in the way okay we got to learn from these things so that's why I'm here to sh share the things that I've made mistakes on to kind of give you guys some tips so that you're not making the same mistakes so make sure that you're ordering less if you're not too sure if you're gonna keep that logo or that design so that way you don't spend too much money on them even though it's not that expensive but anyways all right, so this next thing is for my girls who are starting a hair company. You can actually have your hang tags created here at Vistaprint for the low, or you can go to Alibaba and they can create it for you and then print out a whole lot as well. That just takes a little while, but if you want something faster, Vistaprint is a place you definitely want to go. I just use the business card format and then I added my logo and I did all this on Canva. I created my tags on Canva. And then here is, if you guys can see this, just a vertical way instead of the horizontal way. So that way you don't have to wait forever to get them from your vendor, even though they do um, make them as well, especially if you have a hair vendor, a lot of them do make hang tags for you and create them and then they can send it with your shipment. But like I said, business cards on Vistaprint come in handy and you get a hundred for like $20 or something like that. So yeah. All right, next thing on the list is bundle wraps as well. This is for, like I said, the girls who are, my girls who are starting a hair company. You can also have labels made. And I got these labels from Avery.com. Now I no longer use these, which hence again, I told you guys, make sure you're buying less uh, before you buy a whole lot test them out first if you like them if you're no longer going to use them at least you don't buy a lot but i ended up buying a lot these are the wraps that go around your bundles i don't have those type of bundles anymore uh, my bundles come more so in a square type of look and not instead of round so i don't use these anymore but if you're looking for bundle wraps you can have these done at avery.com super easy i actually created these labels on Canva there's a format that you can use on Canva to actually create this and then you can then do your what do you call it your branding your logo and stuff like that whatever you're going to do on your things and then have them printed out at Avery and they can ship it out to you or you can even go to your local staples buy the labels I think these labels are 
what are these one by four they're one by four labels you can buy them at staples they have tons of them and then have staples print them for you and it'll take about an hour or two depending on which staples you go to sometimes they might take a day or so um and then you can go back and pick them up and you're good to go also stickers i've created stickers these stickers were like when i were using them to kind of close my boxes i don't do that anymore I know you guys are probably going to laugh at me like all this stuff I bought and I don't use anymore. But like I said, trial and error. So these stickers I use to seal my boxes. You can also get these at Avery. Now this is the this is the one that I did where I created them. And then I went to Staples and bought the stickers. And then I had Staples print them out for me, which took about an hour or two. And these are two and a half. And I created these. If you guys want to use these stickers, any type of stickers, labels, these are good for like jars, candles, and things like that. Uh, bottles, if you're doing products like skincare products, beauty products, and you need labels, Avery has great labels. And I'm going to share with you guys another company that I love using as well. So, yeah. So, you can get, oh, and then you can get the labels on Amazon as well. You don't have to go to Staples if you want to go to Amazon. Sometimes Staples doesn't have all of the sizes that you need so you may have to go on amazon and purchase them wait till you get them have them printed out or you can just go on avery.com get them done and then they will send them to you by mail all right next one is this new company i started using that i love as you guys know i'm starting a beauty product it's not a beauty product it's a hair product it's a hair growth oil that i'll be launching soon and i got these labels created for my dropper bottles and i got these created from sticker mule oh guys got the stuff on i got these created from sticker mule and i think i got a hundred if i'm not mistaken i love their quality their quality is super nice um it's water resistant very durable so that's what that's a plus now you can have these done as well like i said from avery or vista print but for me i think sticker mule yeah it's a plus their quality is amazing um and they're not that expensive i guess depending on what you get but yeah so these are going to go on my dropper bottles but if you guys have any beauty products hair products and things like that i would say sticker mule um you can get those labels to be able to put those on your products so that is definitely an essential. I know a lot of people, sometimes I didn't know where to get things like this when I wanted to create like my, my hair growth product and things like that. So yeah. All right, the next one is, this is a packaging wrap, packaging tape wrap. This is what it's called. And I also got this from Sticker Mule. This is for my hair growth products and this is awesome this is where you can seal your products instead of having to use tape you can use this it helps with branding um so that's why i like it um it is also better for the earth you know i think it's recyclable or something like that i think i believe so um but yeah and it comes with this little sponge that you're gonna have to wet because of course you're going to have to activate the tape so that it can stick to your boxes and this is from sticker meal i forgot how much i think i paid like 50 dollars. i don't know yeah i don't have the receipt how big of a roll but i'll put it down in the description box if you guys are interested uh, but definitely an essential it helps with branding if you guys are looking for tape to seal your boxes sticker meal all right guys so let's move on to shipping products or shipping whatever you want to call it um so now if you're thinking about getting boxes, I'm definitely going to show you some places to get boxes. But if you are wanting to find something inexpensive when you're first starting out, then I definitely would say poly mailers. It doesn't have to be a bubble one. It could be just the regular poly mailers, like the thinner ones. Um, now, you can get these at Amazon for very inexpensive. Um, even Uline. Uline's a great company if you're looking for like supplies for your business. Now, once I kind of show you guys how to get credit, you can start a whole business account through Uline and be able to get those supplies and then pay for those items at a later time, you know, within the month. It's like a invoice that they send you and then you can pretty much pay for your products later on when you get some funding or get some money. Not that later, but within the 30 days. Um, so yeah, so I've even bought some from Uline as well. They have tons of them, tons of colors. Amazon has tons of them, tons of colors. You can even get some custom made through Etsy, which is a good place um, to get these. So yeah, you definitely want to have some type of poly mailers to send your stuff. Now, if you do not want to buy any at the moment, you can also get free poly mailers or free packaging supplies, period, from any of your shipping 
companies. So if you're gonna ship like through like FedEx, I ship through FedEx and they give me these free bags, these free large packs. And I use these because these have like one rate to ship to wherever I'm shipping to. Not a one rate, but they don't weigh it. So it kind of ships based on where it's going. Uh, but you can get them from like UPS, USPS. They have tons of free priority packaging that you can ship out your stuff from for free. You don't have to worry about buying any. Um, so yeah, so that is an option. Now the next one is, what do I have on my list? Oh, of course, boxes. So now, if you want to step it up and get boxes from your company, then like this one, I got these created through Packlane. Packlane is um, a great company. I think they their system is very simple to kind of maneuver and create these boxes um, or to customize your boxes however you want to. Now, this box was a little expensive because I did get the glossy material um they also do have the craft material which i got the very first time those are a lot more less a lot less expensive than the glossy material and then of course they do charge you depending on how you're going to customize your thing so you make they charge you for like the color the the side if you're trying to like customize it on the back the sides the top the bottom and even in the inside now these boxes do come um, they don't come like this. They come, oh, I don't know why it's in here. They come um, unfolded, and then you have to kind of create them yourself and fold them in the creases and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, so this will cost if you decide to put anything around here or anything inside. It's definitely going to cost you a lot more. So, if you don't want to spend too much, then I would say be a little bit more simple on the things that you're doing. Maybe just put your logo, maybe put a just a few things here and there so that way um, you can get some nice boxes for the low but you don't have to buy boxes from pack lane um, there's also another company called box up as well that um, is I think they're about hand on hand I think maybe pack lane may be a little bit less expensive uh, but you can also buy plain boxes from like Amazon Uline Uline is a great company that has a lot of plain boxes and you can just kind of create your own label from like sticker meal something like this and then stick the stickers on the boxes for branding purposes and things like that but if you don't want to do that then i would say just get like the plain white boxes the plain craft or even black boxes from like amazon or uline um, and those would be less expensive and you don't have to worry about it. especially if you're just going to put it in another container because sometimes i kind of think about this i'm like okay well i'm gonna put it in a fedex bag so did i really need all this but totally up to you okay so yeah moving on to the next thing when it comes to packaging is we talked about poly mailers you talked about we talked about boxes um now packaging just kind of if you want to spice up your packaging do a little bit of you know decorations you can i used to do this i don't do this as much now it's just i don't know uh, so well it depends on what it is like my hair company I don't do too much of like the crinkle paper anymore I do use this for I am going to use this for my hair growth serum because I do want to secure the things and keep them you know from moving too much but and then make it look at a little a little fancy but not too much you can definitely get crinkle paper from Amazon I have brown one I have brown color as well but amazon has tons of crinkle paper all types of colors i get this from the brand magic water supply but they have other brands as well i just always stuck with this brand when i go to amazon but they have tons of colors very inexpensive you can also get crinkle paper by the box from uline which i did for this new company that i'm creating um that was very i think it was like maybe 20 dollars for a huge box of crinkle paper um, but yeah tissue paper you guys know you can get this from anywhere you can get this from the dollar store i got this from amazon so this is not these things are not much of an essential thing you need for your business i'm just throwing it out there if you guys decide that you want to jazz up your packaging places where you can get some of these things and just some ideas if you're thinking about doing so um, other things that you might want to get are like organza bags if you're going to use them for like your bundles or just beauty products or anything pretty much jewelry things like that you can get organza bags from amazon very inexpensive or you can get them from uline as well 
Um, I'm a fan of Uline just because I have a business account through Uline. So I pretty much buy a lot of things from Uline now and not so much from Amazon. I still do. It depends. Uh, but Uline's shipping is amazing as well. It's almost like Amazon shipping, okay? I get my stuff within like two, maybe three days, maybe less. Uh, but yeah. And then other things like satin bags are great if you are starting like a hair company. I feel like satin bags are good for anything. It just depends on what you're using them for. You can buy satin bags from Amazon, Uline. I forgot the other places. There's, an, there's a couple other places that I'll list down below that have great deals on satin bags. But yeah, satin bags are definitely a must, especially if you're starting a hair company because you wanna make sure that you're protecting the hair. Um, or if you're gonna keep it in a packaging, then you can keep it in the packaging as well. Um, but I think that it, it's a good thing to provide your customer a satin bag because they may not have one or if they do, they may have it for other hair and you wanna make sure that they're able to protect their hair and keep their hair you know, safe and in good condition so that it lasts a lot longer. I did get some satin bags created through Alibaba with my logo. This is my old logo. I still have some left. I have quite a few left, but I think what I'm going to do is use these for Black Friday, even though they're not my logo, but we're going to use them, okay, because we're not wasting no money. Um, so Black Friday, these bags will probably be used for people who purchase and things like that. These were a lot bigger. I forgot. I think this was like a five by six, and these that I have here are a lot smaller, which I think I like the bigger ones better. Um, because of course I can put more bundles. These I only put one bundle, maybe two. Um, but yeah, my packaging is a lot different to what it is when I first started. Um, but once these are done, I'm gonna definitely go back to these and probably use Sticker Mule to create a label to put on my satin bag because these took a very long time, okay? When I tell you, when you're ordering from Alibaba, you wanna make sure that you're prepared for shipping, okay? Because shipping will take production and shipping. I think production may not take as long, but shipping takes forever. I think I, it took a month to receive these. So it did take a while, so I don't think I'm gonna go back to Alibaba, but if you have the time to get it and you buy maybe some in advance and then buy some before you run out, then you're good to go, but it takes too long for me. So I think I'm just gonna use a sticker meal sticker, put it on there and be creative and buy the bigger ones instead of the smaller ones. So yeah. All right, so moving on to some other things you're definitely gonna wanna have, and it's a scale. This is the infamous scale that everybody gets from Amazon. This is the Accutech scale. Um, if you are going to ship your packages and create your labels at home, you're definitely gonna wanna have a scale. You're gonna need a scale period because if you're using like any type of um, Shopify or Squarespace, they're, they are going to want to have the weight of your product as, as well as your packaging to be able to create and calculate the correct shipping for your customers. So you definitely wanna have a scale so you can weigh your packaging, weigh your items and things like that. This was maybe less than $20 at Amazon. You can get a scale at Staples, but I think Amazon is better, just a lot cheaper. All right, this one is, oh my God, a game changer, y'all. You probably have seen this around. When I first started, I used a printer, but y'all, this Rolo printer, when I got this, I was like, why didn't I get this when I first started, okay? This is definitely an investment. You definitely do not have to get this. This is a label thermal printer. Um, it allows you to create your shipping labels so much faster. Um, and it's just amazing. You don't have to keep buying ink. You know how many times I had to buy ink and how expensive ink is using my printer? It's just, yeah, it was way too much money. By the time you buy so much ink, you might as well go ahead and buy the Rolo printer uh, because it's probably gonna cost you that much. This, ro you can use the Dymo, but I think I like the Rolo printer. I have not, I did purchase a Dymo when I first started. I actually purchased the wrong one. So I returned it, didn't even go back and just decided to get the Rolo printer. This one is freaking amazing. I hear nothing but good things. I feel like everybody talks about this Rolo printer, um, but yeah. I think this was like 200 and something dollars. Once again, if you guys start getting your business credit up, then you will be able to purchase these items under your business credit so that you don't have to use any of your money and you can start making money to be able to pay that business credit off. So yeah, definitely an essential 
Um, but if not, then just use your printer to create or regular printer to create your labels. And then when you start to see some money come in, then definitely go ahead and upgrade to a thermal printer. It doesn't have to be the Rolo. They have tons of other ones, but it's definitely an essential. Also, the Rolo printer um, does not come with the labels to create the does not come with the four, four by six labels. You do have to buy this separately. I bought these items from Amazon, the Rolo printer and this label um, but you also can get free labels from fedex or ups um or even um usps okay if you want to use their labels you can get them for free you can order them once you create a business a business account through like fedex or ups you are able even like usps i don't think you create a business account through usps i think you just kind of excuse me ask them for the free or for the items and then they'll just give it give it to you um, I think that's how it works. I'm not too sure. I haven't used USPS. I've always used FedEx. So I know FedEx, I created an account. So I'm able to order things that I need and have it shipped directly to my house. I don't have to go there and pick it up if I don't want to. So yeah, you can have these shipped as well. But if not, Amazon is a place you can purchase them. All right, so moving on to uh, things that you're going to need when you're wanting to take product photos or, you know, just taking pictures. Now I did add a camera to the list. Now cameras are expensive. So I know that everyone's not going to be able to get a camera. So nowadays you got your iPhone or your Android, they work perfectly fine. Those things have amazing, um, cameras on them. So you can use that. But if you want to get a camera, um, then I would say getting, maybe starting off with a Canon M50, this is a great camera. I got this from Amazon. It takes great product photos. I mean, of course you do have to kind of watch some videos if you're not good at taking pictures. I wasn't good, so I had to learn. I'm learning, I'm still learning. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on taking product pictures and even setting the camera to the, having the correct setting so that you can take pictures for your products. I think it's essential to take good product photos um, for your website, even for Instagram, like sometimes I see a lot of companies um, that are just first starting out small businesses and stuff is on the floor, you know, things are on sofas and it's, I mean, I wanna say there's nothing wrong with it, but there are a lot of things and supplies you can get for the low to be able to take some good product photos and you don't even have to edit them if you're not good at editing. I'm not good at editing. You can go to Fiverr fiber and actually have someone edit those pictures for you. You can take the pictures and then have somebody on Fiverr edit those pictures for the low and you'll have great quality work. You even can um, create photos and then use like um, stock photos from like Canva, not Canvas. Is it Canvas or Canva? Canva, right Canva? Yeah, Canva and get stock photos from Canva Cut the background off of your item and then add them to that stock photo so you can get some better product photos. Um, but like I said, you don't have to have a camera. I bought a camera a couple months into my business um, after I got some business funding to be able to take good product photos. I even use this for YouTube as well, but I'm using my blogging camera. Um, but yeah, so phone, camera, whichever one you decide. I would suggest probably starting off with your phone. I started off with my phone when taking pictures and I just kind of learned as I went, try to perfect the, not perfect the pictures, but just try to get better at taking good product photos. I'm gonna give you guys some things you can use that I feel like are essential when it comes to taking photos. And that is getting a, some type of canvas to take your products on. Now this canvas is from, oh, that okay um this canvas is from <laughs> michael's and this cost me like a dollar and 50 cents it's that styrofoam cardboard type of feel and i use this to create my pictures for my products one because i'm either going to probably remove the background so you want to be able to have a white background so that it's easier to remove the background to put it on another stock photo or another you know background on canva or something like that um so yeah very inexpensive you can get this from even from the dollar store okay um now i feel like the dollar store may not have good quality but if that's all you can get 
it's better than nothing but you can also get this from michael's like i said before it was 190 now if you want to upgrade and get you something good like a good background canvas then a great company is replica this video is not sponsored by any of these companies that i'm mentioning i'm just trying to give you guys the game just trying to show you guys some products that i use because when i first started i feel like i didn't really get a lot of this stuff on videos so this is from replica surfaces they're on instagram and they create these bomb um they're not cardboard they're more like let me take it off they're more like a I don't know it's a different type of material i'll put it down below but this is a white glossy one they have tons of different ones like marble wood floors i mean all types of designs they are a little on the expensive side i think this was like 60 dollars maybe 70 i think it was 70 and then i got a coupon for like 15 or 20 percent off um so definitely catch their sale but you can also get these as you guys can see and this is a great place to take your products, beauty products, hair products, all types of products, whatever, sh clothing brands that want to like have a layout, a flat layout. And this is a great place. Um, this is a great thing to use to take those product photos. Um, also, another place you can get some like this that are inexpensive. There's a company called Everyday Co. They are on Instagram as well. And I purchased a marble one. They are from, a, I think they are from Australia or london so it's taking a little long for me to receive it um i think that was like it's a different material it's definitely not this type of material i think it's more like a roll-up one um so that's why it was a lot cheaper but etsy also has some great surface flat lay backgrounds like this that you can use to take pictures of your products and i think this is definitely an essential to have if you ha if you're a product-based business is to have this to be able to take those pictures so that you have a clean um more professional look for your products all right some other things that you may want to get lighting um it's not a must because you can use your window to get really good natural lighting for your pictures like if you wanted to use a surface you can get like a desk put the surface on your desk Put it near a window and you can get some great lighting but if you want to like step it up then you can get a ring light like i have one here in front of me i'll put a picture of the one that i have it's the newer brand you can get a ring light they also have some real creative light boxes this one very portable super easy to carry anywhere you want to go this one doesn't have a light installed in here like the other one that I have I'm about to show you. This is more just so it kind of pops up. I'll show, I'll put a picture somewhere on here so I don't pop this one open. Um, and it also comes with four different colors that you can switch up so that you can have a background. It's more like a, I don't know if this is like a, it's not a silk material, it's like a type of cloth. I don't know what you call it but i'll put it down below they got a blue one a black one and a red one the black one's in here and then there's a white one and you kind of just put those in here and then you can take this anywhere near a window outside and great get some good pictures of your products as well creates a good professional look like i said this doesn't come with the light so you're gonna have to use your light window light to be able to create some light inside to reflect in here to take some good pictures um, but I like this because it's super portable. I can take this anywhere. Uh, and then the other one that I have is this light box. Now this one is still portable. It's a lot heavier um, and a lot, of course, bulkier to take anywhere. But this one actually has a light in the inside of it. And I'll put a picture of this as well. This is also a great product lighting box so that you can take good pictures of your products as well. It literally folds down and it opens up into a box and then it has the cord for the lighting it comes with three different background colors i have the white one in here i don't want to pull it all the way out because it's going to be hard for me to put it back in Oops, see um but it comes with like three other colors there was a white one uh a tan one and a gray one i believe and they look like oh here it goes here's the black one and they kind of just fold in there and then when you take it out you just kind of open it up so that you can put it you know inside the box that way you can get a background to take your product photos this one 
I think it was like $70 if I'm not mistaken. And the other one was maybe $40. The other one's a lot a lot less expensive because it's it doesn't have the lighting inside. This one's a lot more because it has the lighting all around the box. So once you open up the box on the two sides of the box, there's lighting and at the top of the box. No, sorry. At the top of the box, there's lighting. On the side, there's no lighting. It's like a reflector to get good pictures. But this is um, something that you don't you don't have to get, but I think it's good to have to be able to take your products and get good pictures for your website, for your Instagram. But like I said before, if you just need to get some product photos for the low, get you a white cardboard or any color. Because Michaels has tons of colors, whatever your theme is, you can get the cardboard in any color for the most part. And then just pretty much, um, yeah, and then just pretty much just use it on a desk, get some natural lighting and take your product photos so that they look a little professional and you can even use, like I said, Fiverr to have them or any other company. There's some other companies out there. There's even a lot of freelancers on Instagram that will edit your photos. Just be careful that you don't get scammed, but not saying that you will, but you know, there'll be a lot of scamming going on. So I would just say go to Fiverr. A lot of freelancers that will edit your, your pictures for the low and you don't have to worry about that. So that is it guys. That is all the stuff that I have that I feel like is an essential. And of course I've added some more just in case you guys were needing some more ideas on what to do or what to get for your business when you're first starting out. So I hope this video was helpful. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. So that way you guys can go straight to it, purchase it and, um, yeah start getting your business going if you haven't already or and if you have and just need some things that you didn't know that you needed then there you go all right guys i will see you guys and next time in my video i will probably maybe insert the giveaway winner after this i'm not sure i'm thinking about it but if i do then you guys will see that in the next clip if i don't then i'll see you guys next time in my next video and i'll put that giveaway i promise y'all in the next video i will see you guys later bye Thank you.